guys, and welcome from me. This is Championship Manager 0102, the World King Heads Up Online Game with myself and Matt. Well, what can we say? Let me just remind you now then, we are using the most recent update, which is the April 2024, with the most recent Nix patcher, which is version 2.29. You may recall from the previous um, parts uh, who we were, past tense, who we were. Matt was Manchester City. I was Real Madrid. Well, it's all changed after the fifth season. Season five came to an end, and we have both left. Well, th there was a big thing, right? There was a really big thing about who was going to leave first, because the bottom line is, um, it was always pretty much speculated that if Matt left Real, uh, sorry, if Matt left Man City to go wherever, I would probably look to go to Man City, vice versa. However, however, I did say something quite interesting to Matt. I said, do you know what? If you go first, I won't go to Man City. He goes, why not? I said, well, because you've already set the team up. You know, they've already got a world-class team. Now, at the end of the day, right, if I had gone first, it, you know, it's up to him what he chooses. It was just my, my, um, my take on it. And, um, well, Matt went first. Matt went first. Um... And then I went shortly after. Uh, Matt did ask at the time, well, let's see if you're true to your word. Uh, but before we show you where we are both now, season five finished like this. Real Madrid, I lost the title again for the second time in, uh, sorry, for the third time in five years. We lost it to Barcelona. We had a bit of a shit run. And uh, we lost it to, um, to Barcelona. So uh, within five years, two titles. Two titles. So I was a little bit... A little bit angry with that, disgusted. We did win the uh, the Spanish Cup. Very, very happy with that. That is actually your five seasons. We've made it to the final and we've won four of them. So very pleased with that. But of course, the big thing was the Champions League where we beat Man City in the final. We took the Champions League, so our second Champions League trophy. Uh, very, very happy with that. So two Champions Leagues in five years, two titles. For Matt, well, Matt fucking smashed it from the moment go. He, he took a fifth straight league title. Uh, he took his first FA Cup last season. Um, that's something that did elude him. Uh, so, I think, thinking about it, five titles. And I think it was three Champions Leagues, I think. It was something like that. So, it was always a good time to go, but it was always about who we're going to go to. So, let's start with me. Matt did leave first. But I did not go to Real Madrid. So I didn't go to Real Madrid. Um, so you, uh, Real Madrid, sorry. Man City. We didn't go to Man City. So Matt has left Man City. Um, but um, Paris Saint-Germain came available as well. It was, um, it was a European Championships year. So there was always a good opportunity of jobs coming. And you can see how deep into the Season 6 we are. Uh, February. Um, so... We started here, this was our first signing, uh, just here at uh, Franco Mastan to, uh, no, 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 uh, these were already d done, so there are seven, um, of course we uh, went to Real Madrid, love that guy, fucking love that guy, we brought in Luca uh, Stevenson, uh, Matt was tracking as well, uh, we brought in Jakob Perina from Inter Milan, uh, Michael, we were tracking him at Real Madrid. Uh, we had a release clause, but he ain't going to be the number one. Donnarumma is still the number one. The big marquee signing was definitely Gabriel Martinelli. What a player! And then we still had two transfers for after the uh, the when the window reopened in January. The first one was Gabriel Mech. Matt just bought him when he took over when uh, the season started before he left Man City. What a player he looks! And the next one was massive because we both located this guy. And um, he finally became interested in me whilst I still had a transfer left. Matt didn't, and so Matt couldn't go for him. Lucas Romero, that is Luis Suarez regen. Um, so that's our seven signings. Now, so far this season, um, we, we had a bit of a shaky start, to be honest with you. We did have a shaky start. Um, but uh, we started to come good with eight games to go. Let's go over to Matt. Where could Matt be? Well, just remember, yeah, that our last game was, was the game on challenge was the ODB. This is the update, a complete difference, particularly on jobs. 
but you couldn't script where Matt's gone to. Matt is at Borussia Dortmund. The Dortmund job came available, and just look at that. Look, you know, um, not having it his own way. Leverkusen. Now Leverkusen, you see, we've had five years. Leverkusen won it in season one. Stuttgart. Leverkusen, Leverkusen, Leverkusen. That job did actually come available as well. They didn't have any money. Well, about five million. So. Um, He's got it all to do. He's got it all to do. Let's have a look at his seven transfers as well. Uh, Lukic was his first one. The uh, He really went to Man City, didn't he, and robbed them. Uh, Joseph Lukic is um, Modric regen. Dennis Seaman, uh, goalkeeper. Oh, he has been number one, actually. Uh, Oli Ball. Oli Ball's been superb. He really has. High injury prone, but it's been superb. Mario Branco. He beat me to Mario Branco. Um, of course, Branco... Ronaldo, um, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's not done too, too bad. He beat me to this guy as well, uh, Yosu Congolo. He hasn't had a great season, has he? Uh, Jimmy J. Morgan looks an absolute, look at that, crossing, dribbling and off the ball, looks an absolute fucking beast. And Kimmich, now Kimmich was an interesting one, uh, particularly with his age, but, um, you know, we'll see how he goes. We'll see how he goes. Uh, let's have a look at Matt's money. Matt's got still got 107 million in the bank. Now, Matt, we, we spoke about this. Um, where is it? His season tickets are just absolutely phenomenal. 104 million pounds. He, he's getting me on this because mine's still like about 40 odd million, 39, 40 million. So that you know that, that's where we're at with Matt then. So now for the big one. This is the big one. There you see we are in the Champions League stage together. Now, the last session we had, or towards the back end of the last session, it was a bit of a shit run for me, because look at our Champions League group. Man City. Um, of course, I'm in second, purely because I uh, beat him 1-0. Um, so the next game is absolutely crucial. Dortmund against PSG in the Champions League, and it goes on the heads-up games, and then we go to uh, entertain Strum Gratz in the final game. Obviously... Matt's got to go to Man City. That will not be an easy game. I mean, it's in our own hands. If we draw with um, we draw with Dortmund, and we've we've just got then got to beat Sturm Graz. I say Sturm, it's Sturm. Sturm. We've just got to beat them. It's in our own hands. But we lost our last two games, which has made it all fall apart completely. Uh, losing at Man City was a, a hard one to um, was a hard pill to swallow. And then losing at home to them before that, they did a double over us. So we'll see how we go on that. But that is where we're at. In terms of the French Cup, where well, we're still riding high in the round of 16. Um, Matt with the German Cup. He's in the semi-final, I think. No, he's not. He's just been knocked out. Leipzig knocked him out in the quarterfinals. So, that's that. That is that. Now, um, where do we go from here? I mean, the Champions League is always going to be the big one. It really is. Um, a little bit of observation now at Dortmund. Uh, they brought in uh, Julian Alvarez, of course, when Matt was in charge of Man City. He sold Alvarez. They brought in uh, Camavinga from me for £48 million when I was Real Madrid, of course. Um, so, yeah, he's done some, um, done some good um, some good signings. Let me show you now then. Let me, let me just show you something really interesting. I mean, Matt, obviously, uh, he left quite a statement of Man City um, with some of the players. I think he actually got some players in before he left. Yeah, he brought in uh, five players before he even left. Did he bring Goller in? Oh, he might have bring, got, brought Goller in as well, actually. I think he did. Um, he hasn't really... Ferran Molina. What was Molina? He's not really done it, has he? He's not done it. Yeah, I mean, I think it was always time to go for Matt because he weren't really spending massive amounts. We know about Mech, don't we? And, um, yeah, there you go. But, he, you know, like AI do in, in typical fashion, they've offloaded a lot of players. Gallagher's gone, Mech, we knew, Karoma, Rico, Lewis, Kute, Vieira. Yeah, a lot of them have gone. They really have. They've not sold their real marquee players. So uh, let me now show you their Real Madrid, uh, the European champions. We let's just see what they've um, what they've sold as well. If they've sold anything, Algora oh, they sold Lewandowski Regen to Celtic. Disgusting. Hendrick's gone to Arsenal, um, and we knew about these others. Oh, uh, Rodriguez. I think I sold Rodriguez actually. Yeah, and I sold Kubu and Gui. So let's just have a look what money they've got. They've probably still got some good money. 
So, um, and there you see, they are riding high in the um, in the Spanish league. They really are riding high with a 5 3 2, or if that's what you call it. That's awful, disgusting formation. But there's a player I want to show you, right? And that's that guy there. Um, Caesar Placisos. Absolutely, I mean, look at him. He looks phenomenal, don't he? He really does. Finishing 32, off the ball and heading 24. And you can see how well he's done. And the funny thing is, he did well for me last season in a breakthrough season. He starts at Real Madrid. He starts there. Uh, let's just go back to uh, Matt a minute then. Let's go back to Matt if he's got any. He has got some agreed signings. I know he has. Um, what are this? What are these? He beat me too, so he's going to have to let go through. Lenny Euro? Yeah, Lenny Euro is on his way. Brendo, we did say that that is Hulk. That is Hulk. I wrote that somewhere that that was Hulk region. Good player. Uh, Christian, Christiansen, we just looked at him, didn't we? Um, okay, decent player there, Matt. And Tyler Diblin. Now, I've, I've seen him on my uh, my own solo game with Peterborough. Looks a good player. Okay, so that is Matt with his uh, pre race deal. He can only pull out of... Um, the deal's not that weren't concerning me, so he can't pull out a Euro. Whether he will, I don't know. For me, we've got, uh, you can see, we've got three players coming. I did have, actually, um, Miley at Newcastle coming, but then I pulled out of that. Now, we've got Mattia Liberelli. Now, I'm probably going to pull out of this. Looks a real good player. I'm a little bit concerned about the, the, the injury prone and stuff, although it is manageable, as Matt said, just like he did against his player, um, Ball. We'll see. I don't know. So, uh, Liberelli is on his way. We have got Filippo Scotti arriving on a free transfer. Again, I had him in my Peterborough United game. Looks a fucking beast. Ha um, looks like he's broken to Italy under 21. Yeah. So, he's on his way. And we've got this guy. Now, you may remember this guy. The assist machine for me at Real Madrid. Uh, look at that. 25 last season. 28, 29. He's coming for uh, 40, no, no, 35 million pounds. 35 million pounds he's coming for. So uh, it leaves me really to work on my defence as my remaining transfers. Uh, need some central defenders, definitely. Definitely need some central defenders. We, uh, we've we moved to the kill formation, the kill machine formation. We started out with four at the back, but we've changed it a little bit. So that is that. So that is the World King uh, set. And this is where we're at. And it's been quite a, um, been quite a, Quite a season, to be honest with you. I think when Matt left and uh, Matt said, are you going to stay to your word and not go to Man City? And I did. You know, who knows? Maybe at a later point, Matt might go to Real Madrid. I might go to Man City. But I think it, it it's almost a, only a fair thing, really. It really was a fair thing. Um, just before I go, just want to show you something, right? Um, so I said to you about the... So 30... Season tickets, 39. Yeah, you see, I can't compete with Matt taking 100 million. But you know what? That's that's the way it goes. But I'm going to show you something really, really quickly. And I'm going to have to pull something up on this because I know, I know that somewhere along the line, I took a screenshot of something and, uh, and I sent it to uh, the one and only Steve Harl. And uh, Matt says to me, he goes, Mike, go and look at Porto. Look at their income, look at their merchandising. Of course, I'm thinking, um, okay, I'm going to have a look. Now, I looked at Porto and their merchandising for the year, and I've got it here, £238 million. Now, it weren't last year, it was the year before. Now, right, so the merchandising, £30 million. So that's obviously gone back now then, but as I, uh, when was this? I, can't, I haven't got a date on it though. I haven't got a date. So, you can see Porto had um, a ridiculous, and look at their money, £551 million. Pounds. Now, it's funny because I sent it to Steve Hall, I'll tell you why, right? One of the updates in the last couple of years, there was a non-league team that were getting something very similar. They were getting ridiculous amounts uh, in merchandising. It was like, it was, you know, it was, it was off the board. It really was. And um, I told Steve, because he does the update, and he said, oh, it's my fault, and he made an error on the update. And uh, we rectified it, but um, that's what I think happened here. But now I'm not sure because it seems to have, um, re you know, sorted itself out. It, it genuinely seems to have sorted itself out. Um, so Porto, who knows? Maybe we'll end up at Porto one day with all that money. Look at it all. Um, 
and that's it. That is it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Who knows how season five is going to conclude. But I will keep you updated. Till next time, take it easy.